Goel and welcome to our channel ML4 Analytics. In this tutorial, we will be doing a web scraping on an e-commerce website and for today, we will be doing it on the Amazon bestsellers. So let's copy this link and go back to the Power BI and for you, I have already opened the transform data tab and just go to the new source, select web, enter this URL over here and just click OK. So it may take some time and the, it has provided with two tables. However, none of them contains the product details that I wanted from that page. So, so Power BI has provided us a very good feature that is we can feed examples to it from that website and then it will automatically judge from the CSS of that website that what kind of data it has to fetch from there. So let's click on this add table using examples tab and it op what it does is like it will open a web page for me over here and I can add the values of the products in this column. So the first column for us is like we can create it as the product name, the second one as the price and then ratings and reviews. So let's start with the product name. The first one is this one, nature pack, garbage pack, size green 48 for 26 and this is the one. And for the price, it is 299. So we are going to select this one. Then for the ratings, it is something around 4.5 or 4.4. So let's start with 4.4. And corresponding to it, 892 reviews. Yeah, this is the one. Don't worry about the extra data that we are adding in this ratings tab that we can remove later on. And for the reviews, it is 892. So let's write 892 and select it from over here. And let's go over the product tab again and add the second product. That is easy. And it is garbage bag. And that is 30 pieces. And this is the one. So let's go for the price. It is 150. So let's add 150 over here. Oh, it changed the wrong one. Sorry for that. It changed the upper one that should have been 299. And this one is 150. And for the ratings, it is, I would say around 4.0 or 4.1. Let's check with 4.0. No, it isn't the one and let's go for the 4.0 again 633 it says yeah this is the one sorry for that and we are adding the number of reviews 633 now you can see that power bi has automatically detected the other products from this page and adding its data over here and you can even see that it has provided me all the data for the products like the products having ranged prices so let's just click ok and it will fetch us the complete data and we are going to add this table or import this table now you can see that we have fetched complete data over here and even the products having the price range is also fetched and what one thing that I can see is there are a few products for which uh, nearly all the rows are empty so we are going to remove them and all have all you have to do is go to view or click on click on column quality and you will see these features over here and just click over here and do a right click remove empty so what it has done is remove empty columns for me and we will also be removing those columns having null values for the price so let's remove them as well now before doing some analysis over its data we will have to do some cleaning for example we need to fetch rating from over here so what you can do for that is like split this column on the basis of delimiter that is the first space from the left so let's go to the transform split column by delimiter depending upon the space and leftmost delimiter so it will provide me two columns 
and this one is not useful for me because we are assuming that all these ratings will be out of 5 and the after and the value after that is the reviews which I have already created over here so let's remove this column and remove rename this to ratings and in this price column before working over here well I cannot convert it to decimal value because of this R symbol or the rupee symbol so let's copy one value and then replace the values over here so it has already provided me some values over here and let's do this I am also removing the space after the rupee symbol with null string so let's just click ok ok so it does it did fail to remove that so let's try it again so let's this and this so it has removed all these values and I will be also removing these spaces between the hyphens for this let's go to replace values add a hyphen click ok and now as we saw that these prices are in range so this is the lower price and this is the higher price so same as these ratings let's split the column on the basis of hyphen over here so what we can do for that is go to add column uh, actually no go to transform split column by delimiter and in delimiter it is a hyphen for me and we will be selecting left mode delimiter ok so let's rename this as lower price and upper price and instead of true whole numbers let's fix them to decimal values and let's try to calculate the minimum sales amount that Amazon might have got from this data so what we can do for that is like create a new custom column and what could be the price over here is like multiplied by number of reviews though we know that reviews does not specify the total sales that has happened for this product however with this thing we can have an insight that at least this much sales have been made so let's do that and rename the column to main sales and click ok so it has provided me a new column which is basically a product of lower price and reviews similarly we can check the minimum value or you can say the at least max values or the max amount that it would have got from a product because we have had a few range for few products so let's find that as well and for that I will be adding another custom column and let's name it as max possible sales upper price uh, before going to that we will need to one we will need to do one more thing because what over here is like upper price contains some null values so before jumping on to that let's create a conditional column or new upper price for us and replacing those null values with the lower price values upper price equals to null replace it with the column that is lower price and for the else it we will be selecting another column and it will be upper price ok so we have got a column and let's call it as new upper price so basically we have uh, substituted the null values with the lower price values and upper values are just same now let's calculate that possible max sales so max possible sales amount and go for the new upper price product with it reviews ok so guys uh, in this lecture what we have done is like fetch the data from e-commerce website with the help 
of feeding examples to your Power BI that what kind of data it has to find in that website and comp and put it into a table. So you can just apply this concept to any website that you want and uh, this makes the Power BI a powerful tool for us. Otherwise we would have been doing some a lot of coding and if you are a data analyst or a data scientist then this is the best thing that you can achieve from this in the easiest and the fastest manner. So guys do subscribe, do press the like button and please stay tuned with the channel and we will be providing a lot of Power BI tutorials as well as the text tutorials. So just stay tuned and keep learning. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.